we must ever mandate the principle that the people of this continent alone have the right to decide their own destiny. There are four great measures for my administration, a reduction of tariff, an independent treasury, settlement of the Oregon boundary and acquisition of California. No president who performs his duties faithfully and conscientiously can have any leisure. One great object of the Constitution was to restrain majorities from oppressing minorities, or encroaching upon their just rights. Under the blessings of divine providence, it becomes us, in humility, to make our devout acknowledgments to the Supreme Ruler of the Universe for the inestimable civil and religious blessings with which we are favored. All distinctions of birth or of rank have been abolished. All citizens, whether native or adopted, are placed upon terms of precise equality. All are entitled to equal rights and equal protection. It is confidently believed that our system may be safely extended to the utmost bounds of our territorial limits. With me it is exceptionally true that the presidency is no bed of roses. Peace, plenty, and contentment reign throughout our borders and our beloved country presents a sublime moral spectacle to the world. There is more selfishness and less principle among members of Congress than I had any conception of, before I became President of the U.S. I cannot whilst President of the United States, descend to enter into a newspaper controversy. Foreign powers do not seem to appreciate the true character of our government. The presidency is not a bed of roses. The gratitude should be commensurate with the boundless blessings which we enjoy. If a man would shake and not be shaken, grip and not be gripped, taking care always to squeeze the hand of his adversary as hard as it squeezed him, then he suffered no inconvenience from it. Although in our country the chief magistrate must almost of necessity be chosen by a party and stand pledged to its principles and measures, yet in his official action he should not be the president of a part only, but of the whole people of the United States. The world has nothing to fear from military ambition in our government. Minorities have a right to appeal to the Constitution as a shield against such oppression. I am heartily rejoiced that my term is so near its close. I will soon cease to be a servant and will become a sovereign.